people. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Love. <Hey>, what? <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Turn the camera, let the people see my wife. Mm. No, they want to see the full uh, What are you doing? Drive, you drive. You were by yourself. You were by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you were by yourself. <laughs> drive the oh, car. Accident. How terrible. Drive safe out there, guys. What's going on, YouTube? We are back with another video. Mm. Husband. The queen. Yes, you see these beautiful hands. Ah, yes, forever and a day. <laughs> Hope everybody's out there having a blessed day. Hope everybody's out there being safe. Messed up. Messed up. up. Sanitized up. Rona free. All 2020. 2021 and beyond. Definitely. So. Family business. Can't wait to get lost. Mm. So. We're in the car, as you can see, driving. But every opportunity we get to record, we will take it. So, I just want to ask a question. Mm. Why is it that when some people have kids, they decide that it's just one and done? Like, you're at the point where you're like, mm, I'm not having any more. I'm done. Like, what leads you to that point? I know, like, pregnancy that is... a traumatic experience. Whoa. Whoa. I know pregnancy is not easy. It's not supposed to be. Oh, you see the Aventador? Sorry. So, pregnancy is not easy, I know, but for you to decide one and done, like, and then I've been seeing a lot of things on my socials, like people talking about, no, guys, really, the need of having kids is not really necessary. Like, you don't need to have children or just have one and call it quits. But why? Why? Me, I want. I want. I want as many as God will give me. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I thought we were on the same. You know. You don't want as many as God will give you? Have you spoken to the Lord? Yeah, he knows. Yes, and what did he say? He said yes. Said yes, what? I'll give you. Give you what? As many as you want. Ah. Uh, as many as the grains of sand, as he said to Abraham. So, so, so tell me now, where are these children coming from? What? Who are fathering these children? What do you mean, who? With you? <laughs> so, so you you talk to the father, but not to the father. Drive, you drive, <laughs> drive. <laughs> Out here, delaying people, they got places to be. Well, I talked to, yeah, well, no, I spoke to you too. We spoke about this a long time ago. A long time ago? Mm, sure? We need to talk about this. <laughs> Start with me. Listen, don't make this fresh news right now. Like, it's the first time you're hearing me say that I want as many as God will give me. Like, I understand. What are you, what are you acting brand new for? I understand. And then you also don't have lots of grandchildren unless that one child gives, yeah. gives you kids and then that's it.
in other unrelated news, I just want to shine the light upon my husband right here. Look at this fresh cut. Woo! Look at that beard. years turn into like 36 and then you know you push in limit now mm. so like 37 like damn you have another one yet and now you're high risk now you're high risk now you're like ah oh, man i should have had one and, i mean things happen so. i mean yeah as i was trying to say um kids are expensive but don't let that derail you from actually having them mm. and if you do have one and it was a bad or a painful pregnancy then i can understand for you going one and done but if it wasn't traumatic and you do want to try again go ahead and sometime, have more kids i mean sometimes the, the guy ain't there for them to have the kids with you know you know the first baby daddy was a baby It doesn't take much to make a baby, you know. There's a lot of deadbeats out there. So these women are very skeptical of who they want to exactly. I mean, have kids have with kids at with. this day and age. And now it's like you could be in a, in a good relationship and things be going so good. You get pregnant and then boop, that man ran out the door. Left you with the baby on your hand, like damn. <laughs> Can't even imagine. Uh, it, it's like that, though. Like, it's how? like that. It's like that. You Sometimes know? they leave even before you mm -hmm. you deliver, like yeah, yeah, halfway yeah. into your pregnancy. Maybe you're pregnant with your big belly by yourself. Mm -hmm. You're doing mm -hmm. everything yourself. Mm -hmm. And shout out to all the women who keep doing mm -hmm. that, who the, the are strong able to there. do that. Like I love the single strong. I support mothers. you, and I'm really proud of what you're doing. Even it shows that you don't need a man mm -hmm. to support you. Intelligent support of funny. Me, me, me. <laughs> it's important for them to have it. You know, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in a two parent household. You know, and kids need both parents in their life. You know, not just for, you know, image wise, but it, it, it helps them, you know, in the long run seeing mother, father, you know and growing and seeing as that like normal mm. you know instead of just oh, one parent in the house and you start developing these 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 traits and these bad habits because you know mommy has to play mommy and daddy you know? i know and it's so hard it's really hard to be two in one but there's so many mothers that have been doing it in my own life i've seen mothers doing it themselves without the help of the men that help who got them pregnant in the first place so women are champions man we're pioneers we're women are supposed to be we're able valued and treasured and well let's like it disgusts me to to see how men treat women when women are the the mothers of earth you know, without them, there'll be no life. True talk, y'all! True talk, y'all! And we have the nerve to just treat them like, you know, trash. You know, as, as if they don't hold no value. You know, they're our nurturers. You know, we may be provided, but if, if they don't, you know, me nurture the baby, they don't give the baby milk and breastfeed and, you know, take care of the baby while we're at work or whatnot you know we want to do all of that and it's so hard because as women we give up our time and the baby you see people put your life on hold to have children exactly. and we do that and we have after we have before
before we even have the kids, we're already taken off work. We have the child, we take off work for a couple of months. We put our lives on hold, yeah, really, to have whole, children. Your body is now a different shape and It's form. just... And y'all sacrifice so much. A lot. With a man, us. he just go back to work like... You know? Keeps and, and on. A man doesn't have goes. to worry about his body changing and no. going through all these cycles and whatnot. And None. The women have to, I mean, endure all the, the leaking and, you know, I mean, going through all these different stages. But the man take women for granted when y'all don't understand how much time we put on hold, man. These the women whole life. Put, put their bodies on. You know what I mean on a whole well big up to the women who are able to snap back like that after oh, having your baby man. like I mean sis I wish man. you know you all the best for <laughs> your snap back but other no women trouble. it's really hard <laughs> to get back mm. and no matter how, uh, as long as you're trying to get your body back it's fine if not whatever that's all on you you did a big job by bringing a person back bringing a person into the world mm. so you're a champ definitely but for my single mothers out there salute to you continue to fight the good fight put them on child support i don't care we in the land we in cleveland where you go outside you can smell gunpowder <laughs> stress child support poverty you know it, it is what it is be a man, step up, be a father. You was, you was man enough to lay down with her, be man enough to take care of the child. I said what I said. It's 2020. Y'all men need to really step up. There's, there's real women out here putting it out for, for, the, for their children, and these men out here ain't stepping up. And it looks bad for us as black men, you know, having these women out here struggling with your child that you don't want to take care of. Right. You feel me? So. In all other news, we about to go get something to eat, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. That was so serious. <laughs> Got that. That's a nice glass of water. Water and lime? Yeah. <laughs> too strong? What you mean? Do you wanna be strong? Water <laughs> can never be too strong. Yeah. It's just a nice gin and tonic. Yeah. Easy, like got a my, Sunday morning. Got my little lemonade here. Give me a little lemonade. So, we're looking for what we're about to eat. So.
Big questions. But it's good, obviously. Sorry, Food was good. I liked it. But this menu be too long. It's so hard to decide every time we come here. I never know what I want to eat looking at this menu. But it's good all the same. About to head out. So thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Always remember, stand on your 10. Put God first. Or we're going to catch some left. On the flip side.